welcome back to the channel i'm sorry i had a couple of days off i was sick i was very very sick so i uh, couldn't really do any videos my mind was all around doing a video i didn't know what i wanted to do but i think there's not enough video about like crossers and reticles and just wanted to share my uh, two or three favorite method of how i would create crossers i got the uh, um Apex Legends here is a reference. Uh, this is the alternative weapon, and it has got this really cool uh, reticle or crosser. So what happened here, um, when you start basically shooting, the spread of these arrows will basically forces the arrows to go to the sideways, which is really cool. And just wanted to show you uh, my way, how would I do the same uh, reticles. And now you can go into all level of complexity if you want. I'm gonna show something really simple. So I have got prepared my crosser here. And um, what I wanted to really show you is that um, how I would manipulate this. Maybe I'm just going to just push it up a little bit so you can see what happens. And so first uh, off, how do you do this uh, crosser? So, uh, as you can see, this crosser here, for example, is a smart object. So if I double click on it, it'll open um, Illustrator to me and I have my file set up here. So this file is uh, 120 by 120 pixel. And my method here is, as you probably guessed already, is the mirror tool. So you can see mirror repeat here. So what happens? Um, how would you set this up? Uh, I just want to show you first how it works. Okay, so this is the cool stuff about the mirror uh, technique in Illustrator that you could basically literally just um, go back here and I'm like, look, I'm going to come on back, 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 back. Uh, uh, where are you? Why am I not? Oh, there we go, finally. Anyway, so what you need to do is basically if I use my pen tool, select the point here, I could uh, hold down shift. And so uh, my design is set up in a way that it basically snaps to the grid. And the grid is set up in a way that all of these squares are two pixel by two pixel, just to help me. And let's do the same here. So when you manipulate one side, the other side will uh, mirror it. So that's really awesome. And you can add some more points to it. Uh, but at this point, I just really wanted to kind of like, okay, let's see, maybe we, let's go a bit uh, more complex with this. Uh, if I can catch this again, what did I do? Uh, there we go. So I'm going to go out a little bit like that. And then... Um, I'm going to push this out like this. So it's quite cool. And when I save it, uh, it will basically save it to Photoshop. And then you can see my design there. Um, it's really cool. Really, really cool. Um, I like to style it in a way that you would have uh, all these set, um, settings here. First, I'll give a color to it. It's not exactly white, but it's close to white. What I use is E8, E8, E8. And then I'll use two layer or two level of drop shadows. The first one is going to be really, really close and is going to be a darker one, opacity, um, black color, opacity 50%. Uh, angle doesn't really matter at this point because uh, I use the spread on 100%. And then the size is two pixel. So that's for this uh, very different, uh, um, very dark edge here why this is important it's important so your crosser will be visible on all sorts of backdrops all sorts of terrain so that's something you'll need to think of uh, that your crosser will be visible on both dark uh, jungly daytime kind of uh, environment stuff and then a second one will be uh, four pixel size and is going to be only 20 percent opacity so this is basically my design I was going with. Uh, Apex goes with a slightly smaller size, I think. But I think you would need this uh, comfortable size. You could go down to two. It's really simple to do because everything is uh, uh, non-destructive. So I'm going to go back here, select this, and I can go down to one pixel if I want to, save it, 
and then it will just update there you know but i prefer to but yeah well i don't know we'll see you can go well here's the thing you could just literally double um uh, create a new smart object right so this is gonna be let's say like i don't know like uh uh, part two of the same design and when you go in here we could literally just be like okay look okay um let me just do another design here uh, which is going to be i'm gonna remove some parts of it like that one can i just ooh? i don't really use illustrator that much to be honest but for this technique, I, I gotta use it. I love it. Okay, so what we do, we're gonna reduce this. Let's say I'm gonna go two pixel here, and I'm just going to take this in uh, like that. Let's say, and if I save it, don't really need the inner anymore. Oh, unless we could go like, okay, let's, let's go and uh, if I can select this. Uh, okay, let's go and um, uh, let's go, I don't know, 8, but it's going to be the stroke, the stroke, one pixel, yeah, like that, um, actually, let's go with 14, like that, something really nice, cool, and then if I save this, it'll update my design in a way that you see now, I have got two layer, I, I have control over basically, I have this outer uh, 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 fine line work and I have got a more thicker one. And then from here, I can literally just go and, okay, um, let's see, I don't want the drop shadow on this one, for example, I do want the, the, the color overlay and um, probably gonna go and move this a little bit in like that okay now this looks interesting so you could change it and be like okay i'm going to um i'm going to oh dear okay i'm going to kind of like just go like this something a bit okay so we open illustrator and we create a new file so this file is basically um 120 pixel by 120 pixel and um, what we're going to do uh, first of all we turn off the grid this is a custom grid I use and the way to set it up um, because I want two pixel by two pixel squares I went into the preference settings guides and grid and I set it up the grid, um, grid line every 20 pixel and subdivision with 10 uh, that will give me nice two pixel by two pixel uh, grid okay and when you press ok you'll see this and mm, you might well if you have a file and you set this uh, uh, guides up you might have to create a new file so it'll be nice align here I'm not sure uh, but if that's a problem you the solution is that you'll just create a new new file and it'll be all nicely aligned here so from here what we're going to do is just going to create a um start we can we can already start creating a, a, a line okay let's go i'm just going to go and i know that i probably want to go with uh, i'm gonna go with um, um, um a quite standard uh, looking oh wait a second view snap to grid there we go uh, a nice standard looking um a crosshair so I put these lines down and then I'll go into object and uh, repeat a mirror and then you can just drag this into the middle nicely and let's see there we go nicely okay let's set up the file as well okay um, here we are and what I want to actually do is just uh, make sure that um everything is aligned okay uh let's make it pixel perfect and uh, there we go so now we're going to have a mirror to the other side so we have to finish our design um so i'm going to place down some more uh, details here and there we go uh, am i going to need to take this 
here and just uh, there we go uh, hmm, like that okay and then in the middle in the center we're going to add uh, yikes. okay I'm going to do the two by two that's fine and then mm, oops sorry I didn't mean to do that and align it to the center so we got this and there we go I actually going to do another one which is going to be a lot larger let's say like 40 pixel by 40 pixel ellipse there we go and then I'm also going to put this in the middle like that and then just that's way too big guys let's go down like that perfect oops and just change it like this and the stroke can go into the middle like that that's great okay so now now once we so sorry now once we have this uh, what i like to go exit the isolation mode back to the very very end and then just select everything and command c and opening photoshop command v it'll um paste it in as a smart object there we go like that and I mess this up there. Let's go back and see that. Make sure that these here does not have a feel feel color. Uh, there we go. There we go. Save it and then go back, and it's nice. Now from here we can go again and add the color we wanted to add is, is still E8, E8, E8 and then we'll add the two drop shadow we talked about. Once we have that we can now just basically just put it in the middle like that and here we go. From here we can manipulate it, we can open it in Illustrator and then we can, the, the mirror tool is still active so you can just literally go back and, and and start manipulating this so you'll be like okay I'm going to push this out and then the bottom side as well I'm going to push it out there we go and let's say the circle is going to be bigger as well um, like that oops there we go save it and it'll update you see it was like this like that so let's say you are like firing and the spread will force the crosshair to change. So there's a couple of states you want to prepare when you do a, 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 a set of crosshairs. And what are these states I'm thinking about? So there's a couple of them. I was working on these sci-fi mockups. Um, I use um, divisions. I think this is divisions too as a backdrop. And just testing out some stuff. I have different kind of uh, weapons here. I got uh, pistols, I got um, shotguns, and different kind of reticles I added. Uh, but it's a great way to show, so what are the states I'm thinking of? And one of them is a default idle state, and then you'll have like, let's say an ADS state. Let me just close in a little bit. And then you could have a uh, hit target state. So part of these design could be red. Um, yeah, actually it should be red because you know, you're hitting a target, part of it or all of it could turn red. That would be great. And then you could have a reload. And in here you can go with uh, all sorts of um, directions. Some games have a label saying reloading. Some games has the, this kind of like a, 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 a fill bar, reload bar, and maybe showcase the ammo in the middle. And you can use this when you have like no ammo, let's say this weapon has no ammo. So your crosshair turns into this uh, red uh, uh, reticle. So these are the minimum states you will have to think of and there's others as well like critical hit um, and uh, there's a lot of games using now the, the smart reload which basically will have like I think returners doing it, returners doing it, Gears of War were doing it, um, there's a couple of games doing that so, so those are really cool to think about. Um, just to show I think I have an assault rifle here which was pretty cool. Um, I have a default state and 
uh, you go to ADS mode, it just kind of like uh, focuses more into the, the center. And then you'll have like hitting the target, it would have this kind of like uh, interesting um, spread when everything is kind of like falls apart, which is quite cool. You could have a reload and depending on what bullet it uses, it could be like this is like, I don't know, like a, like a, a rifle bullets. The other one was more like a pistol bullets. Um, no ammo would do the same. Uh, I think the grenade launcher was quite interesting as well. Yeah, this is the grenade launcher and you can you can have like a dual color for this one. I think the outer line work could be a slightly darker. Uh, 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 design uh, ADS uh, and we got uh, hitting the target and reload could have like this big grenade launcher bullet kind of thing and then no no bullet so these are things uh, this is one of my favorite method I like to use there's another one I really 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 like um, it's 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 an interesting one it it's what, what happens is that um, I use squares and uh, life paint tool to kind of like life paint my crosshairs. Uh, let me give you an example. Um, I'm just going to kind of go and and and. Okay, I'm gonna go and duplicate this new small object, uh, hide this, and then I'm just gonna go and open in Illustrator. And what I would do is I would just. Um, actually, from first before we do that, just want to release this. Uh, just going to expand this and just get rid of this uh, uh, mirror uh, tool. I'll create a new layer. Uh, okay, let's go to metal two. Okay, so what we do here um, is going to create a rectangle it is going to be 120 by 120 and I want it to align to the to the center so I'm going to actually I do not need neither of these things no feel no stroke there we go and then what I'm going to do is just going to I, I still want the two pixel uh, grid so shall we turn it on let's um, well let's just go objects path split into grid and from here, <clears throat> if I turn on the preview, so I, I know if I want two pixels, I have to have uh, 60 pixel rows and, uh, I mean 60 rows and 60 uh, columns. And that'll give me uh, two pixel by two pixel squares. So once we have that, I'm actually going to use this as a, as a guide, because I'm just gonna, re not that one. This one can be like that. That one can be like this. Just a tiny bit of uh, guide. So just see my middle and center and stuff. So from here, this is method two. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use um, the life paint tool. So that's basically, I think, sh um, key shortcut is K, letter K. And I'm gonna bring up my swatches. Okay, really? Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, I actually just need. Uh, where is it? No, 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 no. Uh, just give me whatever default swatches we have. Basic garbage. That's fine. So what we're going to do is, let me just pull this out. Like I'm gonna use like this color here. Well, I can use the black. That doesn't really matter. So what what it does is basically, um, I'm, I'm I can basically paint these in I'm just curious why is it it feels like what is this it's two pixel by two pixel oh that probably at one pixel there one okay that's fine I was just a bit uh, took me by surprise anyway so what we have here is uh, I just start painting in with the live paint tool I can I can literally paint in whatever I want so I want maybe a center be like you know circle I'm um, sorry and I'm just going to go with my uh, life paint tool and start painting things in. Oops, did I do this? Did I mess it up? Yes, I did. There we go. So now we got this. And uh, I mean, this is really, really, really great when you want to do like, you know, like, uh, like, um, 
like just sharp lines and stuff um so I, I would probably go and do this and also you could you could always have uh you can always kind of like duplicate this group and then just like just rotate it right like that and then and then let's say okay uh <clears throat> i'm going to basically just kind of have actually i wanted to where is it here it is so i'm just gonna have like no colors for now no colors for now so we can start fresh and go with uh, life paint tool we can we can always go like okay so now we want something like i don't know oops sorry ah, damn it. so you have to be very careful with this but like something like this and then something like that and then you can always kind of go and and uh, why i don't have an empty color here uh, can i have something like that do i have something like that nope 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 uh, that's disappointing anyway uh, wow okay now i'm just gonna go with default uh, web yeah whatever but anyway if you if you i mean i would definitely need like uh, empty color now and then you can just kind of like go and be like okay i'm going to remove some part of it here let's say like this and i go back and just want to paint oops sorry not that one but the middle right so you would have that and now you will have uh, like this interesting kind of uh, design and you could still go and be like okay look um press k and then go to uh i don't want this but like let's say i don't want the middle here right so you could have a quite interesting design and then if you save this and go back to photoshop you would have this um different uh, design which is quite interesting I think uh, I don't have maybe I can just move it to the side so you can see yeah like that so so that's another method you could use I like to use that sometimes and you know you can you can also have like radials um, or ellipses and stuff you can use trying uh, yeah triangles um, triangles will give you different uh, results um, so it's pretty cool, I think. Um, am I going to do a video about how would I use this uh, live paint tool to create different type of reticles? Because literally you can create anything with these tools. So it's really awesome. Okay, uh, this is what I wanted to share with you with this video. Let me know if you have any question or, or just let me know what is your favorite way to do crosshairs and stuff. Uh, I, I'm I'm uh, super interested to, to hear if you have some cool technique to do it. Uh, I don't think we have enough video on YouTube about these kind of things. And, and uh, it's just, um, it would be really nice to see. Okay, so let me know. And thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.